How's it going? My name is Dom and today I'm going to show you how to read a file in Rust. So to start we need an actual file to read from. We can make a new file inside the directory here called info.txt. Inside here we need to put down some really meaningful and really you know honest text to read into the program. For example we can say subscribe to decode for more videos like this one. That right there is some really truthful information. Now we can print this out and supply it to the program um, by first off just importing two things up the top here. So first we need the file struct. So we can say use std fs and then file. Now that is the struct for the file. Now we can also import the prelude module and that will help us uh, perform read and write operations to a file. So now with these two uh, loaded, we can then start by making a new uh, instance, if you like, of the file struct. So we can say let mut, so a mutable variable called file equals file open. Inside here we need to provide the, um, the path to the file. For example, info.txt will grab that file that we just made right there. Now with this we need to also specify what happens when just say we can't open the file. For example, you know there's permissions error or something went wrong, can't find the file. We need to say this, we need to say ex expect, it's spelled expect, right? And we need to just say, um, okay, can't open file. So that message we printed out if we can't open the file for whatever reason. Next we can start reading uh, the contents of the file into a variable. We can make a new mutable string called contents equals string new. So now we have a an empty string. Now we're going to dump everything inside this file into this string right there. We can do this by typing out file dot read to string inside here, passing a mutable reference to that contents variable. So we can say mut contents. But once again there might be problems, you know, we can't read the file for whatever reason, so we have to say expect oops, cannot read the file. Alright, so that'll print out if we can't read the file for whatever reason. We can now simply just print out the contents of the file. So we can say print line, file contents, give a few line breaks for separation, and then pass in contents like that. And that's all. We can now test this and see how we go. Go into the console and just type in cargo run, press enter. The program will compile. Alrighty, there we are. So subscribe to Decode for more videos like this one. Speaking of that, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and see you later.